Good morning students. I am Monica Kukkal, your EVS teacher and today we will discuss about chapter 3, plants. It is very interesting for all of you. Okay. Hope you have done your work of chapter 1 and 2. Okay. Let's begin with chapter 3. Students will understand that the different parts of plant and their function in this chapter we will discuss about different parts of plant their functions different ways of reproduction in plants and different parts of flower very important part okay we will also discuss about germination of seed seed dispersal pollination these are new topics for you and I hope you will understand it better let's start this chapter okay students now this is the diagram of plant okay can you imagine the world without plants there would be no oxygen no food no fruits and no flowers that's why plants are known as producers of food okay plants provide us with food oxygen which is necessary for the survival of human beings and animals there are many different kinds of plants like trees herbs and shrubs let us study in detail the functions of different parts of a plant here you can see the flower leaf fruit stem roots the portion above the ground is known as shoot system okay and below the ground is known as root system the shoot system comprises of flower leaf fruit stem buds right and the root system is the roots under the ground okay now we'll discuss more about the roots okay we'll discuss more about the functions of roots there are types of roots also okay so let's begin with the roots okay students as we know that each part of the plant has its own work to do all these work all these parts work together to keep the plant alive there are two main parts of the plant as we have discussed shoot and root okay so let's begin with the root the roots are one of the most important parts of the plant they are under the soil roots absorb the nutrients and water from the soil and transport them to the other parts of the plant through the stem right now there are two types of roots tap root and fibrous root tap root is a thick main straight root okay of a plant that is attached to the stem it has smaller roots growing out from its side like for example carrot okay have you seen carrot Anna? carrot beet root turnip etc they grow downward in the ground and that is why we have to pull out carrot radish from the ground these have tap root now we will discuss about fibrous root fibrous root has many roots that breaks off into small lateral roots okay so in fibrous fibrous root there is no mean root main root koi nahi hoti beta isme there is no main root okay plants like onion grass etc have fibrous roots the small lateral roots are able to cling to the soil which makes them su them suitable for the prevention of soil erosion okay they are able to hold the soil tightly whereas in tap root in tap root there is a thick main root okay in fibrous fibrous root there is no thick main root okay they are small um, lateral roots that break off into many other roots okay now we'll discuss more about the functions of root okay functions of root roots attach the plant to the ground okay they provide support to the plant and help in holding the plant firmly in the ground so roots kya karte hai beta attach karte hai ground se okay they provide the support to the plant okay roots absorb water and nutrients from the soil okay plants need water for their growth right uh, roots absorb water and nutrients from the ground and transport it to the stem okay 
roots also holds the soil that is very important the roots of the plant hold the soil in a place so that it does not get washed away during heavy rains floods etc or by wind also okay so it it holds on to the place okay washing away of soil is called soil erosion you know that what is soil erosion soil erosion is actually the washing away of soil due to anything that heavy rains floods or by wind that is soil erosion roots also store food right roots also store food in some plants like carrots radish which have tap roots right so this is all about roots now we'll study about stem okay okay students now we'll discuss about stem 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 is the part of the plant that grows above the ground okay it supports the upper part of the plant now there are different functions of the plant uh, of the stem right the stem provides support to the plant okay above the ground what it does it bears the weight of branches leaves buds flowers fruits right so it gives support to the plant it also transport water and minerals from the root to the other parts of the plant so stem works as a transporting agent also it transport water and minerals from the roots to the other parts of the plant it also transport food prepared by the leaves to different parts of the plant okay some stems store food such as sugar cane potato etc these are stems right and this they are as a food okay so potato is also an underground stem okay students now we'll discuss about leaves when you go to a park and look at the plants closely what do you notice there are different size of plants there are different colors also now take a closer look at the leaves of these plants they all are of different shapes and sizes okay now we'll discuss about the kitchen of the plant what is the kitchen of the plant leaves leaves are also called the kitchen of the plant okay the flat surface this flat surface is called lamina okay or we also called it call it leaf blade it has veins on it okay each leaf has one main vein and many side veins okay so see this this the center one is the main vein and these are the side veins these veins helps in transportation of water minerals and food that is prepared by the leaf the outer surface of the leaf has a waxy coating okay that protects the leaf now there are different functions of leaf also food is prepared in the leaves by the process of photosynthesis we have already read about photosynthesis what is photosynthesis the process by which green plants make their own food right in the presence of sunlight water and carbon dioxide okay this is called photo photosynthesis now there are different functions of food leaf leaf gives us gives out oxygen okay these uh, gives out oxygen produced in the process of photosynthesis right and in this surface in the uh, surface of the leaf there are small there are small tiny pores okay there are small tiny pores which are called stomata stomata okay these tiny pores are called stomata some leaves store food such as mint cabbage spinach we eat these leaves right okay leaves are also known as the kitchen of the plant as they make their own food most of the leaves are green in color and we also have discussed why they are green in color because of the chlorophyll chlorophyll present in the uh, green substance cl uh, chlorophyll present in the leaves that is why the leaves are green right 
Due to the presence of chlorophyll, green plants can produce their own food in the presence of sunlight, water, carbon dioxide. And this process by which green plants make their own food is known as photosynthesis, right? The roots absorb water from the soil and the stem carries it to the leaves, right? Stem acts, acts as a transporting agent. When light falls on the leaves, it is absorbed by the chlorophyll present in it. Then through stomata, the leaves take in the CO2 and gives out O2. Okay? Stomata ke through kya hota hai, beta? CO2 in hota hai aur O2 oxygen out hota hai. Right? Now, this is how green plants produce their foods which is stored in the form of glucose or starch in the leaves, roots and stems. Okay students, now we'll discuss, we'll see one, I have one leaf, we'll discuss about it, okay. So as you can see the leaf, there is this green flat surface is known as lamina, this whole surface is known as lamina, okay. And this is the main vein, right, this is the main vein. These are the side veins, right? What, what, do, what do these do? These transport the food, okay? The water and the minerals to everywhere. These are the side veins. This part is known as midrib, okay? This, this thick part is known as midrib. And this is the main vein, side vein, the lamina part. And it has small pores which is not visible in our, uh, through our eyes, that is stomata. Stomata, what does stomata do? Sto stomata takes CO2 in and O2 out. Okay? CO2 leta hai, carbon dioxide leta hai, atmosphere se and it releases oxygen. Okay? So, 